I am Iris Ortiz. I am a member of the uh, legal secretarial team in the New York office. I work primarily with both the restructuring, insolvency, and bankruptcy group and the commercial litigation group. I am a proud member to serve as co-chair of Denton's Hispanic Latinx organization for leadership advancement, the Ola Affinity Group. Because I am Hispanic, um, I'm a natural born giver, seeker, and helper. Uh, that is my nature and I attribute it all to my culture, to my family, um, the need to help others. Um, and those who have worked with me can attest to that. Uh, I possess a helping, giving, and problem solving nature and that has helped me break barriers, move forward and pass obstacles um, and or challenges that were quite difficult for others. From time to time, I like to say a Spanish dicho or a saying, which goes, every problem has a solution. And if it doesn't have a solution, then it's not a problem. And that is a thought process that allows me to not only celebrate my professional success, but also to celebrate the professional successes of my teams. Forget about being a yes person. Um, our lives are not the lives of our parents. Do not be passive. You have a voice, use it. You have a thought, express it. Uh, set boundaries, stick to them. Hispanic voices are being heard now. Um, we are being seen now. Let's continue that momentum. You are valuable. My inspiration, to be honest with you, is my family. My family who mostly still live on the island, uh, they're the most encouraging, the most loving, and the most don't forget where you came from type of people. And trust me, I have never forgotten where I come from. I am from Puerto Rico. I still do my parrandas. I make my pasteles and coquito come Christmas time. It is a wonderful feeling to have that connection, but more importantly, uh, to share that connection. And I share that with my children and my grandchildren. Uh, I make sure to share my parents' stories, and my stories and how we used to do things. And I make it a point to keep our culture alive and thriving in my family unit. Um, my children are young adults, but they do appreciate the history. They appreciate the food. They appreciate the arts and our music. They appreciate the culture. And I think that that's important. I think it's important to keep that going no matter how old you are, just keep it going. Mm -hmm. It's something that my family instilled in me. Um, I am instilling that in my children, and my hopes and prayers are that they instill it in their children, and so forth. For me, Hispanic Heritage Month means an opportunity for people who are not of Hispanic or Latinx origin to appreciate the Latin American cultures, um, to see what our cultures are about, to learn about uh, people and experiences that have shaped and continue to shape our histories. Hispanic Heritage Month isn't so much, I believe, um, that it's not so much for the Hispanic and Latinx community. Yes, it's our time to shine, um, but it is also more of a uh, hyper-focused view of who we are and what we bring to the table. It gives our communities, communities formed of people from all of these beautiful and wonderful and just truly spectacular Latin American countries, visibility. We are here, we are not going anywhere. So let's work together. Let's build fruitful and lasting relationships for the sake of humanity.